I hope you're hungry for everything. Everything. Holy shit. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this place called Raising Cane's. I think the name might actually be Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Straight to the point, let's think of a name where people will know exactly what they're gonna get. So this is Raising Cane's and let's see what we've got inside. What I've done for this whole video was I got someone to go and buy me all these foods from American restaurants that you guys have recommended. The catch is I have never heard of these restaurants and this might be the most interesting part, I did not pick the items. These items were picked by the restaurant themselves. They sold me their most popular items. That is the best way to be introduced to something new. So this is the two items that we got from Raising Cane's. Let's do the unboxing together. I'm guessing it's chicken fingers. Oh wait, it's more than chicken fingers. This looks insane. Oh, I will say that if one of you guys tells me one more time that I need to try Raising Cane's, it's the top comment in every fast food video. Me when I have OCD. This is not even funny, it's just the truth. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers is an American fast food restaurant specializing in chicken fingers. Well. Like, we kind of figured that one out. It's originated from Louisiana. Okay, this is interesting, but I just want to know what the menu is. I want to know what I'm eating. So this is what it's called, the Kenya combo. Six chicken fingers, crinkle cut fries, a Texas toast. What is a Texas toast? I mean, it's just bread. It looks pretty average. Coleslaw and a large drink, which... Where's my large drink? I'm guessing it's not in here. And then on here, in this tiny box, we've got... <laughs> Was this for free? Was this a Christmas present? I mean, I appreciate it. An extra chicken finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They gave me eight chicken fingers. I was supposed to get six. See, this is why this is America's favorite fast food place that I apparently never heard of. It looks pretty good. Let's dive in. I kind of want to start with the Texas toast. It's like a burger bun, but sliced weirdly. Maybe it needs a dip. It's a little bit dry. I mean, it's just bread. It's not even that buttered to be a toast. It's like soft, soggy toast. I mean, I love bread, so let's go for what matters truly. This is the Raising Games chicken finger. Wow, oh my God. And it's still warm. Is this the greatest chicken finger possibly? Ever? I think so. So it also comes with the Raising Cane's special sauce. Kinda smells like a mustard, like a honey mustard. I mean, these chicken fingers are so good that I don't think a sauce will improve this. Never mind, it's improved. Wow. Oh my god. This sauce. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like spitting. This sauce reminds me of something. This is like. Such a specific flavor, wait. It reminds me of ketchup flavored potato chips. It tastes like ketchup, it's like a cocktail sauce. Oh my God. This is the best fast food sauce ever. And also the best chicken fingers. Wow, this is very, very good. Let's try the potatoes. They're like crinkle cut, which is very popular in fast food in America. I mean, with the sauce, obviously they're gonna taste incredible. They're good as well, but the chicken fingers. It's all about the chicken finger. I honestly can't even describe how insane these are. They kind of remind me a little bit of the KFC ones, but they're better because they taste cleaner. I would say the perfect description of this is if you imagine Chick-fil-A chicken and KFC chicken, it's like their baby. That's what it tastes like. Honestly, incredible. I literally will not be able to stop eating this. I'm so glad they gave me an extra one. Now we appreciate how lucky I am. When you bite more than you can chew. I can chew way more than this. Thing is, I will never stop. I will sit here and eat this whole thing in five minutes or less. I like the fries, but they're not my favorite part. Cause I started with the fingers and they were so good. It can only go downhill from there, obviously. So this is the coleslaw. Let's see what the coleslaw is saying. It smells like coleslaw, which is a combination of mayo and farts. You can quote me on that. <laughs> Let's try it. A lot of American fast food doesn't taste like fast food. This tastes like 
someone actually made it. So I'm sure they make this from scratch, including the chicken fingers. This tastes like a family owned restaurant kind of thing. It's got family owned restaurant kind of vibes. Maybe we should eat this with a piece of chicken. Oh wait! No, because this is probably how it's meant to be eaten. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. So we got chicken finger, Texas toast, and the fries. Oh my god, this is about to be amazing. And the best sauce I've ever eaten from a fast food place. Oh my god, how am I gonna eat this? Wow. I take everything I said back. I understand the purpose of the Texas toast. You're meant to eat it with the chicken fingers and the fries, and it's a perfect addition. I wish I had another slice of this toast. I have no words. This is the best fried chicken I have ever tried from a fast food in America. And I can't believe I've never heard of this before. This is next level. Next up, we've got Outback Steakhouse. So this is called Outback Steakhouse, and it's kind of like a restaurant chain, fast food-ish. I am lying because I have heard of Outback Steakhouse. I think I've heard this name in movies. For some reason, I just thought the Outback Steakhouse, it was a specific type of steakhouse, maybe like a specific type of steak in America. And then I moved to America and I'm driving and I'm like, that's a chain. That's what Outback Steakhouse is. So I've wanted to try it for so long, every time I drive by Outback Steakhouse, and here it is. This is too many things. No, cause this is about to be good. So the first thing that we got from the Outback Steakhouse is, oh, that is a very tiny steak. This is a sirloin steak, which I think is their most popular steak. Also the least expensive one. And this is a six ounces. So I'm not gonna lie guys, that is a tiny, tiny steak, but it wasn't very expensive. So this is fine. The people at the steakhouse said that their most popular sides are mac and cheese. So this is the Outback Steakhouse mac and cheese. It's macing, it's cheesing, it's mac and cheesing. This, I don't know what this is. These are mashed potatoes. So I guess this is the their second most popular side at the steakhouse. So I guess this is the thing that people get the most, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and obviously the steak. Wow. I think this is a blooming onion and this is their most popular starter. It's whole fried onion. <laughs> Wait, this is the deep fried an onion. And they put a dip inside. Oh my God, I'm, this is blowing my mind. A blooming onion. Oh, that's what it is, because it's, fully open, it's blooming. The greatest country in the world, America. <laughs> Where you can buy a deep fried onion. It's breaded and deep fried, this is genius. I'm not judging, I'm very excited about this. I don't even know where to start, this is great. Immediately, I am loving Outback Steakhouse. This is the kind of food that I wanna eat for my birthday. I'm gonna start with the blooming fried onion. It's actually soggier than it looks. It looks very crispy, but look at this. Once you get a piece out, it's actually really, really soft. Oh my god. This is insane! It doesn't even need a dip! It is so flavorful, crunchy, soggy as well, and it comes with a dip. This dip is so solid, look, the dip is not dipping. What is this? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. This is insane. Okay, so if you want a really crispy one, you kind of get one from the sides. These are the crispier ones. And then if you want a really soggy one, you get one from the center. I am not to exaggerate things, but I promise you I'm not exaggerating. This is the best dish that I've ever eaten in America. Are you kidding me? A whole deep fried onion. <laughs> this batter is so flavorful. It tastes like um, Cajun seasoning. I think that's what it tastes like. And then this sauce, it's cheesy mustardy. It's literally an explosion of flavor. There's more flavor and spices in here than in the whole collective of Europe. No offense to people watching from Europe. They've never eaten anything with this flavor profile. I'm mind blown by this. This is so good. It's hard for me to put this away because I, I just wanna, I wanna go back for more. No, stop. <laughs> There's so many new things that I'm gonna try in this video that I wanna kind of pace myself here. It's called Outback Steakhouse. So what about the steak? Hmm. I think I asked for the steak to be medium because that's usually how I like it. I actually usually like it medium to well done. Wow, not the whole table shaking when I'm cutting the steak. This is terrible PR for the Outback Steakhouse. I think the steak is kind of well cooked. It looks really nice, honestly. That is an incredible steak. This is probably not even considered fast food. Is this fast food? 
this is so good. It's kind of plain, the steak. Like, it's nothing insane compared to the onion. Like, that was a different level, the deep fried onion. But it's kind of nice, and I can see how this paired with the onion, and the mac and cheese and the mashed potatoes that have more spices and flavoring it literally makes perfect sense and still it's really nicely seasoned it's more like pepper i think some paprika it's more like plain spices but it's it's truly incredible my friends are coming to visit after i finish filming this because they're gonna help me eat all the foods for this video so i want to save some for them to try as well if it was up to me i would have finished that blooming onion in one go outback steakhouse mac and cheese outback steakhouse i wanted to know what it was all about but i didn't expect this level of quality the urge to say it's a chicken salad, you gotta come try one of these. <laughs> this is incredible. This is very mustardy. I've never had a mac and cheese that tastes like mustard. This is almost like a mustard pasta with breadcrumbs on top and I love mustard, so this is really good. The flavors at the Outback Steakhouse, they go one hand on the cow and one hand on the spice mix and they're heavy on both. This is wild. I've never eaten food that is this flavorful. Who spiced this? Christopher Columbus? Someone had a gun to their head when they were grabbing the spice mix. This is so good. I wanna eat this full meal now. It's hard for me to put an end to this, but I do wanna leave some for my friends. <laughs> Even though they probably had this a million times because they live here, so should I have one more bite? No, I'm gonna be a nice person. This is mashed potatoes with cheese on top and chives and bacon and mayo. <laughs> At some point, this is not mashed potatoes anymore. <laughs> These are like loaded mashed potatoes. I don't know if that's the official name. I do have the receipts, but because I didn't pick the items, I'm not entirely sure what everything is. Okay, so it's like mashed potatoes and then the toppings. <laughs> the flavors. I. If you guys could have a look at the inside of this, it's literally 50% toppings, 50% mashed potatoes. It's got so much mayo and sour cream. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's an insane amount of sour cream in this. Everything at the Outback Steakhouse is like the flavor button. They said, turn it up. It is so good. My favorite, the fried onion. You know what? Screw my friends. They might not even show up. They're outside. Oh. Suddenly my door lock is broken. This is on a different level. I'm gonna find out what sauce this is and this is coming in my copycat recipes very soon. First I'm gonna eat a full onion in less than 20 minutes. Wow. Okay, so next up we've got a place called Shakey's. Shakey's Pizza Parlor. The only pizza places in America that I have actually heard of before, Pizza Hut and Domino's. Those are really big outside of America, but until I moved here, Shakey's was a shortcut for milkshake. <laughs> a milkshake when you're three years old. So I do not know what we're getting here, but I do know that it's pizza because, I mean, what else? The pizza that started it all. Oh, that's good for them. So let's see what the Shakey's pizza is like. It says on the back, made in the USA. Well, we kind of figured that you didn't cook this pizza and send it to me from Brazil. It looks good. It's a very thin kind of pizza and it's very like overcooked, but it's got a good amount of pepperoni. It's almost all pepperoni, so we'll see. It is different than Domino's and Pizza Hut that I'm used to. And then we also got the Shakey's Famous Chicken and Mojos. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I do like the packaging. I am so confused by this whole box. Oh, wait, this is really, really cute. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, these are potatoes. I think these are called mojos. So this is what their famous sides are for the pizza. So should we try with the pizza or the mojos? I'm gonna start with the pizza. This is their best selling pizza, which is pepperoni. And apparently I think it's also thin crust. It's giving. That is a good pizza. It tastes better than it looks. Let's be honest, 
It doesn't look like much. It just, it's not the most appetizing to look at, but the flavor is actually really good. It tastes plain and simple. It gets the job done. Since I arrived to America from Europe, I've had really great pizza. When I moved from Europe, I first landed in New York City. So I had really amazing pizza in New York City, like the New York style pizza, which is, I mean, not the same as this. So I feel like it's unfair because my idea of American pizza, it's so good because of New York City. This is not the same. I still think Domino's and Pizza Hut are slightly better, but I still think it's a great pizza. It's very plain. I like the pepperoni a lot. I think this pepperoni is honestly what makes this pizza great because the dough, it's nothing special. It's not that crispy or anything, but the pepperoni, I don't want to say it. I need to stop this. It's getting out of control. I keep saying this even when I'm not filming. The pepperoni is pepperoni. <laughs> Where did this come from? Is this a thing? Did anyone else get that virus in your brain as well? You can stop saying that things are thinging. Okay, I just realized the only good thing about this pizza is actually the pepperoni. It doesn't quite have enough cheese, but I will say one thing. They almost seem more proud of the mojos. Imagine if these are not called mojos. I'm gonna sound so stupid. They seem more proud of the mojos than everything else. So this is a mojo. It's like a deep fried potato slice. I love America. That is so good. It's like crispy on the outside and when you bite into it, it's like mashed potato on the inside, but also very greasy. You also can feel the grease taking over your body. That's what it tastes like. This is so good. I love potatoes. I love any kind of potato, so you already know I was gonna say that, but I really love this. That's the one. They're like Shakey's, famous chicken in Mojo's. Oh, and we also sell pizza. Pizza's okay. You don't want to get the pizza, but we also sell it. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna come up with something. And then we fold. I was gonna put another slice on top. I don't wanna take slices away from my friends. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is what they call a calzone. <laughs> a calzone in Ohio. I love that. Look at me. A minute ago, I'd never had shakies and now I'm coming up with my own shakies combinations, menu hacks. It's all about the mojos, forget about the pizza. It's an okay pizza. If you guys think I should get a different flavor, maybe recommend it in the comment section. I almost feel bad for not liking their pizza considering they've been making pizza since 1954. That's like 50 years before I was born. I was making pizza for that long. I would, I would think I would be doing a little bit better by now. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, just kidding, just kidding. Maybe they started with potatoes because they really figured this one out. This is so good. Next up, we've got a place called Dave's Hot Chicken. Let me guess, it's, it's chicken made by Dave. Let's talk about Dave's Chicken. I've never heard of Dave's Hot Chicken, I don't think. My biggest fear is that I'm trying something that I've tried before that I have no recollection of. Dave sent me a whole lot of Dave's sauce. Like, I want to believe in myself the way Dave believes in his sauce. We get it, Dave. We really get it. You have a great sauce. You know when people want you to try something so bad that you don't want to try it anymore? That's what's going on with this sauce. It's some reverse psychology. So we've got Reaper? Reaper? Like a Reaper pepper? That's like the hottest pep- I mean, it's called Dave's Hot Chicken. I'm gonna save this one for last. This is just hot. So usually hot is fine. This looks so good! It's like a mini meal? Not mini, but considering some of the things we've seen in this video. These fries, look. I'm not gonna say it again. You know what I want to say. <laughs> These crinkle fries are very, very good. And this might be a controversial opinion. I love it when they are kind of dirty. Like they almost taste like they're fried with the chicken and everything else, but they get all that flavor. <laughs> this is so nasty, but I do like them. These are very much that. They taste like dirty fast food fries. I can see some people being horrified by this but not me. God gives the toughest battles to the bravest soldiers. That's what I am, a brave soldier, by eating crinkle cut fries. First of all, we got a chicken sandwich. So this is the hot one. And this is a slice of bread <laughs> with a chicken tender on it. That is real spicy. I don't think you can handle the Reaper one. Stop everything. Stop the whole video. I made a mistake. Should have not eaten that. This is how much I ate it. I am honestly, my vision is going blurry. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have gone to a place called Dave's Hot Chicken. Let's try a bite of Dave's Hot Chicken sandwich. Oh man, it's the same. So 
We know that it's spicy. That is, it's better with bread. With bread is a lot more balanced, so it is spicy, but it doesn't hit you like right in your face. It's creeping in now, but it's very, very good. This is a majorly underrated chicken restaurant. I cannot believe I've never heard of this, but it's very, very good. The bread is perfect. The vegetables are so good. It comes with free pickles and it's not a whole pickle. This is a great restaurant. I have a feeling I've been here before. I don't know. It's so spicy though. You really gotta love spicy food. I've been saying all year that I've built a great tolerance for spicy food as in the past recent years. And it's true. I honestly, I cannot eat anything unless it's some level of spicy. But this, this is spicy for me. Oh my God, this one smells even spicier. It's the same thing in spicy. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this. So this is it. This is from a Reaper Pepper. Why are Americans like this? Who hurt you? Why you gotta make everything like a challenge? I'm gonna eat it. Oh, it comes after. It's coming. This is horrifying. I've never felt this kind of heat. I'm trying really hard to act normal. This is not funny, guys. I cannot eat this. Jesus, you have done me so dirty today. How did this pass FDA standards? This is insane. I can't see no more. I'm in so much pain. It's not getting better. How can someone enjoy this? How can someone eat this for enjoyment? <sighs> This is a proof that this was the Reaper one. I can't even talk. I'm not gonna say anything, guys. When I talk, it gets worse. This is what we just ate. I need a doctor. This place is called Firehouse Subs. I've honestly never heard about this place up until today. I've never even seen it, so I doubt. Is this popular? Does anyone know what this is? So I'm assuming it's kind of like Subway. That smells very good. That smells incredible. So let's see what the fire, so this is the name of the restaurant and the logo. I will say one thing, <gasps> the packaging though. <laughs> that is so much better than Subway. Like I want to get my sandwich from a box the size of 24 eggs. Oh, and they have cookies as well? Okay, so I'm assuming this is like their best selling cookie or the second best selling cookie. What does the two stand for? So Google tells me that the Firehouse Subs is a restaurant that was originated by two firemen. That's genius. That's all we need to know. Eating like a fireman for 24 hours. <laughs> I'm joking, but someone is watching this video and wants it. So I'm assuming this is their most popular sub. <laughs> that looks so good. It's a meatball. Oh my God, these look so much better and smells so much better than Subway. Also, I feel like this is a great opportunity for me to come clean about something. Um, I thought we called a sandwich a sub because it comes from Subway. So I'm really confused why they also call this a sub. What is sub? Did sub come before Subway? No, that would be the plot twist in the video that you didn't expect. So it says on here that this was funded by firemen. So we can't say anything bad about this because that's basically like saying, the firemen, <laughs> the police. We got the sub and we got, um, this is their most popular side, which is mac and cheese. Mac and cheese from a sandwich restaurant. Now that is shocking. And also not an ounce of color. Wow, it's literally like, I'm like, did I accidentally become more colorblind or is this literally gray? <laughs> Can't even see it on camera, just a cup of white, a floating orb of mac and cheese. Guys, this sandwich is so good that I'm thinking that this will be the thumbnail of this video. Like, this is on a different level. <coughs> Maybe I'm allergic to oregano. Okay, so it also comes with a pickle. There's just a whole pickle sitting there. It's a great pickle. No, that truly is a great pickle. <laughs> when my friends arrive for the leftovers and I give them just this pickle. Sorry, I was really hungry. This is all you get. So this is a meatball sandwich. It's just meatball, cheese, and bread. It's kind of similar to the Subway one, except it smells better. No shade, it just, it is what it is. Mm. 
That is so delicious. Wow. Like, this is shocking to me because sometimes the most popular restaurants, like Subway, is probably endlessly more popular than Firehouse Subs. It doesn't mean that it's better because this is actually superior than Subway. The bread tastes like real bread, not like whatever Subway calls their bread. I really don't like Subway. I think we established that. But this tastes like a real sandwich. I cannot even explain it. It just tastes like real food. And the meatballs are actually pretty good. And the sauce is good. The cheese is good. It's literally perfect. It could have some vegetables on it. Would probably make this a little bit better. The intrusive thoughts telling me to dip the sandwich in the mac and cheese. No. We'll do that after. So let's try the mac and cheese and also let's keep in mind that I'm using metal cutlery and saving the environment as much as I can. So let's give it a try. This mac and cheese has one color, gray. You know what? It's surprisingly good. I mean, this is... Not the Holy Spirit wanting a bite of my mac and cheese. This is a great mac and cheese. I mean, I wasn't expecting much, but I really like it. And look, I only realized now their branding is like a fire station kind of situation. I feel like if you're a fireman, you should be able to go eat at this restaurant for free. It's your God-given right. I'm gonna have one more bite of this, but it's a great sandwich. Honestly, I'm not someone who goes and eats sandwiches. It's just not my kind of food. But this one, I would eat this again. Great sauce as well. This place I wasn't expecting to give and it's giving. So let's see what the cookie's giving. One thing I will say, I can be shady about Subway. They're great cookies. They really are. That's a lot of expectations on these fireman baking cookies. Please be soft, not crispy. That is soft. White chocolate and birthday sprinkles. It's a good cookie as well. This is actually making me sad that I might be missing out on a lot of restaurants just because I've never heard of them. So please, do me this huge favor, let me know in the comment section down below other restaurants that you've never seen me talk about in my videos because I probably don't know it, that I should go to because I've been missing out. This is truly great everything. Okay, one more bite. <laughs> one more. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we've got a special delivery from church. I'm like, let me bless myself really quickly before we open this one. This is a fast food place called Church's Chicken. Let's find out what's inside. I honestly have never even heard about this place up to a minute ago when I saw the bag in my house. <laughs> I guess they make chicken. Imagine if this is like a really popular place that people love. I don't know why I was expecting the face of Jesus or something to be their branding. Missed opportunity. How many items do they have as best selling? Because. This is never ending here. <laughs> did we buy their whole menu? Because I don't have that many friends coming over. Like, how much did this cost? So we got church's sauces. They make their own sauces, so this must really be popular. When you can put your brand on a honey barbecue, you know things must be doing really well. I just want to say, guys, I had a sip of this Coke, and it tastes not good. So we're not drinking that because... I don't know what the hell happened with that. Let me guess the church's chicken sells chicken. Okay, ooh, is that a chicken neck? Oh no. An L4, I'm leaving the video right now. <laughs> Are these chicken strips or a chicken neck? Oh, they're just chicken strips. Wow, that was scary for a moment. This had me going to church just really quick. <laughs> There's so many jokes that I can make with the theme. So these are actually just chicken pieces. These look heavily fried. Look at this. It's so crusty. I've never seen fried chicken this crusty. It's actually a good size as well. So it also comes with this, which I'm gonna read to you what this is in just a second, because I think we've got a receipt. This is called a Texas chicken tender, and this is a honey butter biscuit. I just wanna say, this looks so much better than your average biscuits, at least from looks. This looks like it's gonna have so much flavor, and I love that it's sticky. This is Church's baked mac and cheese, I think. I love this kind of mac and cheese. It's not quite the same as like a restaurant one. It's more like a craft mac and cheese and it smells like Play-Doh. 
and I just know it's gonna be incredible. Then on this side, we've got, um, oh, these are the honey biscuits as well. So we've got a few of those. It's really interesting. In America, I find that people give me free food all the time. Like I go and buy something and they just put extra stuff in the bag. I'm like, where I'm from, if anything, I will buy a 20 piece chicken nugget and I count them down. There's 15 in there. They're a church, they make apple pies, they make tenders, honey biscuits, mac and cheese, and most importantly, they can probably evade taxes because they're a religious institution, so bravo. And this, what is this? I've never seen anything that looks like this or smells like this. This is a fried okra? Okra Winfrey? I thought there was a talk show host. This is fried okra, which I'm assuming is a vegetable. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna start with the fried okra. Okra? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Look how much they give me! This was supposed to be a small! This is what I'm telling you. Like this whole thing cost $20. So this is a fried okra. It's like a battered Animal Crossing insect. That's how I would describe this. I understand why they give me so many because who else is buying these? Nobody, not even Oprah. They named these after Oprah and Oprah's like, no thank you, I choose my own destiny. This does not pass the vibe check, but most importantly, this does not pass the taste bud check. The texture check, this could have been fries, this could have been nuggets. We're gonna try the church's Texas tenders. This is so weird. I don't even know how to say this, but the flavor of these chicken tenders, you don't gotta come and try one of these. I can't even tell you exactly what it is. I just find them dry and the flavor is even worse than being dry. I've never had chicken tenders that I didn't like up until this moment. These are really not good. This might be that this is just a bad batch. So far, this has been great. <laughs> Let's try the honey biscuits. How could you mess up a biscuit? You can't do that, right? These are so dry. I just don't get it. Oh wait, maybe I get it. Okay, these are kind of addictive. They're not like the best thing when you bite into them. It's like, oh well. But then that sweet glaze, it's like whispering things in my ear, saying, you gotta come try one of these. It's a little bit addictive, this one. That is the only thing from this place that I actually enjoy, is the honey biscuits. Is this standard? They've been making chicken since 1952. And the chicken also tastes like it was made in 1952. <laughs> but you know what? The biscuits are worth it. And I will say, this was very cheap, this whole meal. Mac and cheese never disappoints, so I just know that we're gonna like that as well. So this is the church's mac and cheese. I don't like it. I swear I'm not being picky here. Something about churches is not, <laughs> churches is not churching. If this is churches, call me an atheist. <laughs> Maybe they should have created a whole branding without blasphemy because they're being punished for it. I'm being punished for it. So this is an apple pie. This is a fine apple pie. I would even say this apple pie is superior to McDonald's apple pies. That is very good. Not a single piece of a real apple in there. Just a tiny little bit of jam. My final opinion, and I hope this is not going to offend Church's fans. The only thing at Church's that is truly worth going there for, it's the biscuits. Their honey glazed biscuits are very, very good. But that's literally it. The mac and cheese tastes like glue. Actually, I think glue tastes better than this mac and cheese. These chicken tenders are so bad that I had one bite of it and I literally fought for my life to swallow that one bite. I don't know if this is like rotten, if this is a bad location, that is a possibility. It doesn't mean that every church is bad. Don't sue me, please. This is just my opinion. I've got enough drama going on in my life. The biscuits. 100% approved. I would never go to this place again. If you guys have any recommendations for a good location, a different order, some good mouthwash for me to forget about this, keep it coming. So next up, um, interesting. For the past few months, I've been living in California and every single time I meet one of you guys who is a resident of Los Angeles, you always tell me the same thing. 
Have you been to Fat Sal's yet? So finally, I have been to Fat Sal's now. Let's see what this is all about. And by the way, I don't like the name Fat Sal's. My dog's name is Sal. Every time I drive by Fat Sal's, I have to cover my dog's eyes because I don't want my dog to have a bad body image of himself. Fat Sal's, we're making sandwiches over here. The guy who delivered this told me to keep it like this like sideways. I don't know what's gonna come out of here. So I think this place does sandwiches and it's called fat sal. That is a little bit offensive. We prefer overweight sal's or not underweight sal's would be politer. Let me try to make this sandwich woke. So this is what we got from fat sal's. Okay, we got a sandwich. Okay, it's not that big. The name is quite aggressive and it smells like kimchi. So we got one bacon cheeseburger fries, which I'm assuming is the bottom. And we also got their most popular sandwich, which seems to be, trigger warning, it's called a fat hot chick. Let me translate this to woke. It's called overweight heated female baby chicken. <laughs> I really like their branding, apart from the names. I actually think everything looks really cool. Wow, this smells like intense. Wait, should we start with the sandwich? Sandwich reveal. Why do they wrap the sandwiches like it's a burrito? It smells very intense. I have no idea what to expect here. What a time to be trying new things. I love trying new foods. This is like heaven for me. So it's got a lot of vegetables. So this is good which is crazy for a place called Fat Sal's. I need to stop saying it too loud so my dog can't hear me. So this is our Fat Sal's sandwich, which it is made of. I don't know what this is made of. I think they sent me the wrong sandwich. There's noodles inside. Yeah, this is not the right sandwich. Hmm, I think they sent me something else. I could smell kimchi. And I'm pretty sure this is not what the sandwich is. Let me get the menu. Not me about to get a refund. Me slightly happy. Okay, I need to see the receipt to make sure this is the right sandwich because this is noodles and beef on the inside, which I don't think that's what a hot chick is. And I think they also sent me a salad instead of fries. They sent me someone else's order. No. Nor. <laughs> Wait, this is not what I ordered. This is a salad. These are supposed to be cheeseburger fries. Is there fries in here? Oh, there is fries in here. Wait, <laughs> what is this food? Okay, so this might be the right one actually. So it's just not mixed. So I guess you're supposed to mix it yourself. So far, I do not understand. This does not look like something I wanna eat. Either a salad or fries, not both. Pick a struggle. This has got someone else's name. So they sent me the wrong sandwich. So let me get a refund really quickly. Cut time. No food tastes better than free food. This would have been so much easier if I had ordered this myself. So the fat hot chick sandwich, it's supposed to be Nashville hot chicken, mac and cheese, flaming hot Cheetos. It looks incredible. Like it looks so good. Instead they sent me something random. This is someone else's order. This is someone named Mickey. So if you're Mickey, you are eating my flaming hot Cheeto sandwich. I've never been more mad. I hope you choke on that flaming hot Cheeto. I hope that flaming hot Cheeto is so flaming that your butthole is gonna hurt tomorrow. Oh, I've never been that aggressive. America really changes a person. Instead, they sent me a fat ban M Mickey. Oh, that's the name of the sandwich. Sorry, Mickey. They sent me a sweet and spicy soy marinated ribeye steak. <laughs> I don't want that. If I want soy marinated anything, I will have kimchi. That's why I said it smells like kimchi. I will still try it, but this is noodles and fermented beef. You know what? I'm gonna pass. All right, I'll try it. No. No. No, I don't like it. The texture of noodles inside bread freaks me out, says the person who just ate a pizza potato sandwich. <laughs> I have standards, guys, please. I'm really disappointed with Fat Sal's. They had one job, but at least they got our fries correctly. These are the Fat Sal's fries. I don't even know if this is the correct order, but there's beef in it, so I think these are the cheeseburger fries, which I guess are their most popular side. I don't like this. I really don't like this place. Fat sauce is offensive, not woke, and the food, the food is not even worth it. 
honestly, everything went wrong with this place. And I don't know if I'm upset because Mickey is eating my sandwich. Oh wait, Mickey is the sandwich. Anyways, this is texture hell for me. Too many vegetables on top. The fries are in the bottom and they have no flavor. And the toppings are on top and it's not topping. The fries are not frying and the toppings are not topping. And you know what? I would rather eat a salad or I would rather eat fries. This classifies as neither. Probably the only thing in the whole video that I really am not here for. Sorry, fat house. So next up, we've got a place called Roscoe's. Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. So this is a place that specializes in fried chicken, I'm assuming, and waffles, which is something I've never had since I've arrived to America. Actually, I've never had chicken and waffles. I think I've never eaten it. I think this is the most popular place in the whole country for chicken and waffles. I'm hoping. I don't want to go to the second best. So inside we've got the Herbs Special Half Chicken. Half chicken? There's half chicken in here? Smothered with gravy and onions with four chicken pieces. Chicken, gravy and waffles and onions? That has to be either the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. Let's find out what this is all about. I am curious now. This is 100% a cultural shock for me. Like just the description of the foods. This smells so good. As soon as you open it, it smells like churros. These are like soft waffles. I'm resisting the urge to bite it already. That is the most incredible waffle I've ever had. Oh my God. It's stretchy, doughy, but the flavor, I'm losing my mind in 4K. I didn't even know that a waffle could be that good. For me, a waffle is just a boring breakfast food, but this one, I need the recipe for this. I need the recipe. Someone who works here, come through in the DMs, PayPal account. So we also got the fried chicken, I'm assuming. Oh, this chicken is so dark. So they sent me a few pieces. Oh, this is my favorite part. And this is my second favorite part. So this is perfect. The rest, I have no idea what this is. This is half a chicken, double homicide. Wait, no. Half homicide. And then this is all sauces and stuff. So that is it. That is actually pretty simple menu. I wouldn't have this on a plate, like a good American, the waffle. Look at me eating chicken with waffles. My European ancestors horrified watching this from the other side. They're trying to press the restart this lifetime. Go back, try something different, a different path. It's like maybe he shouldn't have chosen his own destiny. I'm gonna go for this chicken breast part, which is my favorite part. This actually looks really good. I'm gonna put that on top of the waffles. Look at me having a fully American experience. And this is the gravy. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be white. I don't know why, I don't like white gravy. It is my opinion. Okay, so the gravy is a little bit on the thick side. I guess think we should microwave this. This is not <laughs> what I was expecting. What is the base for this gravy? PVA glue? Me reading, do not microwave after this has been one minute in the microwave. <laughs> okay, this is a lot better. Okay, I need you to go smooth on me. Me to the bottom of my feet. This is crazy thick and grainy. Is this normal for gravy? Oh, who made the gravy? Karina Garcia? That is a joke that should have retired in 2009. Cannot believe I brought it back from the dead. Fun fact, guys. A couple weeks ago, I found out Karina Garcia subscribed to my YouTube channel. If I had found out that sooner, that would have made me sound a lot cooler to my cousins when they were six years old. On the real, Karina Garcia, if you want to be friends, this is my public proposal. I'm just gonna do it. We're just gonna pour the gravy. <laughs> guys, is this how you eat this? I'm assuming that it's a yes. This is how you eat this. We just do this. And then we're gonna eat the chicken with the waffles. By the way, this is too much chicken for this amount of waffles. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. So this is their most popular dish at Roscoe's. We're gonna get some of that chicken. Suddenly, I'm moving to Tennessee or whatever <laughs> this chicken comes from. This is giving. And I haven't even tried the waffle yet, but the chicken with the gravy, do not be fooled by the weird texture. The weird texture is a test to see if you really have it in you to experience what I consider to be one of the best chickens in America. This is very good. It's not crazy flavorful because the flavor kind of comes from the gravy. And honestly, 10 out of 10 chicken. And now we're gonna try it with some of the waffle. Let me give you a visual of what's going on. Chicken and waffles. This is so good. This is amazing. Can it make the waffles taste like pasta? If you're watching this and you're kind of horrified at the thought 
of fried chicken with waffles. These waffles are different. They're like special. They go perfectly with the chicken. It's a different kind of waffle. This is not your average sweet breakfast waffle, the crispy ones. This is superior. It's soft. It's almost like bread, really. In reality, we're having a gravy chicken bread sandwich and it's perfect. It's so, so good. The whole thing, a 10 out of 10. See, there's a lot of things in America that if you're a tourist, you would never hear about Brosco's. This is not something that the average person would go and seek and find. But imagine if I missed out on this. Also, I'm fully covered in gravy. I don't know where this comes from, but I have the eating abilities of a three-year-old. I just know that every person is horrified at the way I eat chicken. I don't know. I go for the part with more meat, less bones, less effort, more payback. I do think this is too much chicken for the amount of waffles and gravy that they gave me, but I'm gonna dip this chicken in the gravy. Okay, the gravy seems like kind of gross on camera because it's so thick, but I promise you, it gives. The urge to stop saying, come and get one of these. <laughs> it's, it's a chicken waffle. <laughs> you gotta come try one of these. This is so, so good. I literally have no words. I did not expect this. I was like, was trying to keep it cool. I was kind of horrified at the texture of the gravy, but like, I am not horrified at the texture of this gravy. I would eat this with a spoon. That's how much I like this. Next up, we've got P.F. Chang. And wait. Put the pitchforks away. You may be thinking that we have mentioned P.F. Chang in a video that I posted a couple weeks ago where we tried some of the P.F. Chang's frozen food and also the one from the restaurant. But the thing is, until I moved to America, I had never heard of P.F. Chang. This is not a brand that exists, at least for me, in the places where I've lived. I've never heard of it. So this was very much something new. Even though we tried one or two items in the video from a couple weeks ago, I had never gone there and tried their most popular items. So so these are the items that we got. We got an egg drop cup, a Mongolian beef, which I think we might have tried before, but obviously I didn't choose these items, a shrimp dumpling, and a Chang's CK white rice. Does anyone know what that is? This is a whole lot of stuff here. We're gonna start with the starter. This is P.F. Chang's best-selling starter, I think, at least in my location. I don't know what the names are, but it looks like dumplings. So there's some dumplings with a sauce. I mean, it looks pretty good. I love a dumpling. Also, I should probably be eating this. I don't know, I'm gonna use my hands. We definitely didn't try this in the other video and it looks really good. It's just like a big dumpling. It's like pretty big. Let's try it. I don't know what's on the inside. That is shrimp on the inside, and it's so good. Very flavorful, very greasy, but very, very good. Wow, that's an amazing dumpling. This is so good that I'm not even sure if I would classify this as fast food. This one is a 10 out of 10. On to the mains, um, this is what I think is their most popular main, which, oh my God, this looks like my favorite food immediately. It's like an orange chicken with white rice. Okay, I need to get chopsticks for this. There are certain foods that I just cannot enjoy without a chopstick. Was there a piece of wood flying somewhere? Cannot wait to get a splinter in my digestive tract. Let's try the chicken on its own first. I think it's chicken, I'm not even sure. It's really, really sweet. This sauce is like crazy sweet. <laughs> Like too sweet, I think. But maybe with the rice, it'll be perfect. Wait, imagine if this is not chicken. See, but that's the fun of the video is the fact that I really don't know these foods. I might be saying a lot of dumb things. I might be saying a lot of stupid things. You might be screaming at your screen. You might be typing a hate comment in this very moment saying, you just don't get it. You're not understanding these items. But you know, maybe that's the beauty of it. Maybe you just enjoy watching someone be an idiot for 45 minutes. I found the chicken a little bit too sweet for me, I'm not gonna lie, but maybe with the rice, I think it's going to give. A spoiler alert, it gives. Mm, perfect. Ooh, I kinda wanna put the whole rice in here and make like a soup. This is a big portion though. It's also really spicy. It's really, really hits you after. 
There is some powerful peppers in here. I prefer the starter, the dumplings was better. So I guess if I went there, knowing a little bit more about the restaurant now, I would probably go towards the shrimp. It just seems like they make really good shrimp. But the one thing you need to try from any kind of Asian place is noodles. So this is beef with beans, beef with chives, beef with a green leaf, not leafy, a green beef with greens. My brain is really not braining. That looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna go straight for the beef. It's just looking at me. It looks like it's going to give. That is incredible. It just literally melts in your mouth. Let's try the noodles as well. Are the noodles noodling? This is a little bit like drier now because obviously we're eating a million different foods at one. It's very logistically, this video is a nightmare. I'm so glad that someone is gonna come and help me eat these and take these home because it's a lot of food. I could not finish this on my own. I'm just gonna eat as much as I can. I never thought I would ever say this, but the noodles are <laughs> not noodling. They taste like uncooked flour. I've never had a noodle that tasted like this. It just, it does not taste right. They taste undercooked, but they don't feel undercooked. So I don't even know. The beef is really good. So there's that. That is incredible. Wait, it might be kind of similar to the noodles. Maybe we need to put the noodles into the beef. Oh no, I'm ruining this for- oh no, I made a mess out of this. Maybe it needs to be eaten together. I get them. That makes sense. That's better. A lot better. You're basically supposed to mix this into here and this into here and then it tastes like perfect. You need to dress the carbs with some protein and some sauce and then it actually tastes good. So these noodles are just very plain. I think that's what it is. It just tastes like noodles. There's nothing to it. I kind of expected some, I don't know, soya sauce, a little bit of flavor in there, but there isn't much. So overall, I liked P.F. Chang. I don't think from this experience, I would go there again just because I've had other Asian food, maybe Panda Express. I think I like it better than this, which is crazy because I know this is more restauranty and Panda Express is more fast foodish, but the heart wants what he wants and the heart wants Panda Express. This is fine fighting the urge to say that this could have been an email. Jimmy John's sandwiches and also 10 kilograms of it. Like, what is this? What is this? Miniature sandwich? This is my two types of appetite. It's one or the other. And each morning it's like, Russian roulette. Jimmy John's seems to be a sandwich place and these are apparently their most popular items. I have no idea what's on here because it doesn't come with a receipt. So, oh, they also sell cookies. What's with every place that does sandwiches also does cookies. But I will say this one doesn't even compare to the other ones. Look, this is like, it's crunchy. I want it to be soft baked. So they also make their own chips. They make barbecue flavored chips. Let's assess this chip situation immediately. That is very flavorful. I like that a lot. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's start with the big one. I mean, I've never seen a sandwich of this size. Does one person actually eat this? Imagine if I had to eat all the foods in this video by myself. I would not be able to do this today. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if they accidentally packed a baseball bat, a small monument. Wait, ooh, it's like Italian bread with Italian meat. Welcome to Paris. Ooh, look at the meat on the side. I'm not crazy about that. This is crazy. It is so big. It is so buttery. Like the butter is escaping from it. Do you guys see how shiny this is? This is like butter and oil. One of these is the size of a big subway. That's it. Let's see what else we got. This is a, let me guess, a wrap. They also make wraps. A lettuce wrapped sandwich. That is one of their best selling items. Don't fully understand that. It's just lettuce wrapped in lettuce. Guess this low carb keto diet is getting a little too out of control. <laughs> Like, that is a crime, a murder of Jimmy John's dignity. Please don't be lettuce wrapped. What's with, <laughs> what's with the sizes of Jimmy John's? Jimmy John said, the size matters and I'm not embarrassed of it. <laughs> oh man, that sounds so wrong. That's nasty. 
It's a soggy pickle. It's not a crunchy one. No, it's kind of crunchy. Imagine me just leaving Jimmy John's eating a literal cucumber. Welcome to America. And this is, oh, they make toasties as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is new. I've never seen a sub place actually do like a more traditional kind of sandwich, but I will say one thing. This is just too much meat. I'm one for having a good protein cheese ratio. This is past it. This is a little bit too much. Like, this is wild. Guess we're gonna try the main thing, which is the sandwich. That's an amazing sandwich, wow. There are so many better options to Subway in America that is blowing my mind. But let's eat this the way Jimmy John's would have wanted. I'm, I don't know if Jimmy John's is dead, I'm just assuming he is. I'm doing this in the memory of Jimmy John's. I put a potato in there. The sweetness with this, my favorite thing here is the bread. The bread is buttery. It is buttered, but it's also light and crispy, but soft. It's something else. I'm full from two bites. I cannot imagine. One of these is too much for me. And I'm, I don't consider myself a light eater. Kind of a heavy eater, actually. But this is a lot. I like the sauce. I like the vegetables. The vegetables on this taste so good. I don't know why. If you go to Subway, the vegetables taste like they've been decomposing in those little fly infested cubes for a hot minute. And by a hot minute, I mean two to three years. Like sometimes the lettuce is so green that I think it's spinach. Welcome to Subway. This is different. Everything's fresh. The meat tastes like real meat, not like Subway's meat that technically doesn't even classify as meat. Well, I'm really going in on Subway. They've really done me dirty. I think it's on camera. There was one time where I went to Subway and there was flies everywhere, flies all over the food. And they were making my sandwich as if nothing was happening and I swear to God, there was a fly shutting my sandwich. Since then, I've never been able to look at Subway the same way. So it's great to have options. It's what I'm trying to get to. This is a great, great sandwich. But too much of it. This is too much. I don't even know. This is too much food. Wow. So I think this one is like chicken, bread. Oh, it smells really good. I love the smell of their vegetables. It's like the cucumber and the tomato. This is so good. This is truly incredible. There's something so satisfying about the way their vegetables are so fresh, so it's super crunchy. So when you bite into it, it's like the softness of the bread and then the cheese and the meat, it's really good. But then the crunch of the vegetables is actually what makes their sandwiches, in my opinion, next level. So thank you to whoever recommended this for me to go to this place. I would have never heard of this if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. It's giving a little bit too much though. That is the only thing. We need them to cut down the menu by four. So even if we cut it by four, we maybe we need to cut it by six. <laughs> I almost forgot about the cookie. Immediately sign of a bad cookie. Why are all the chocolate chips on this side? I mean, we know which part we're gonna bite. I mean, it's still kind of soft actually. Wait, it's triple chocolate? Milk chocolate, dark chocolate and white chocolate. That is incredible. The chocolate, this is some European quality chocolate. That is the best chocolate in any cookie ever. Okay, now we're talking. It's made with like a specific type of chocolate. I think it's called a Girardelli chocolate, which is a really good brand of chocolate. Here in America, I've seen this everywhere. It's like a fancy brand of chocolate and you can taste it. And literally, the first thing I thought was like, wait, this chocolate is saying something, but I can't hear it because I'm about to eat it. I'm about to digest it before it can say anything else. I'm not sure if it's better than a Subway cookie because with the Subway one, there's nostalgia attached to it. There's the possibility of eating a cookie that's been touched by fecal matter from a fly. There's just something about it. It adds a je ne sais quoi. <sighs> I think I like this cookie better than a Subway cookie, which is not something I thought I would say in this video. They need to make this look like it's been freshly baked because the packaging, it's not giving. The cookie's giving. This video was more of a roller coaster than I wanted it to be, but I'm grateful because at the end of the day, what truly matters is that really extremely spicy hot chicken, if it doesn't kill you, I guess it makes you stronger. <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Don't forget to give the video a like. It's usually what gives me an indication that you want another sequel to a video or maybe it's just a one time kind of thing. So I really appreciate those of you who take the time and also those of you who comment down below. I read every single comment. I read almost every single comment. Otherwise I would have to increase my therapy, but I do it as much as I mentally can. So I hope you guys enjoy this. You know, my very favorite thing to do on my YouTube channel is to just try new things. Things. And there's so many things that I sometimes when I'm driving I see a restaurant I'm like that sounds really good and filming this for you guys It's perfect because I get to experience the things that I want to experience So thank you for providing me with this platform to enjoy a lot of foods that are a lot spicier than we initially thought Anyways, my point is I hope you enjoy this I guess so don't forget to subscribe switch the notifications on before you go I love you guys, and I will see you on my next video, which is probably in two or three days. So bye-bye